This is a drive from Kingston's SSD Now series. This is a V Plus drive and it is the 180. So you might ask, you know, what's up with an arbitrary number like 180? Well, I would postulate that it stands for 1.8 inch. So you can see that this SSD is actually substantially smaller than other SSDs in the SSD Now V Plus series. And the reason for that is that not every device out there uses two and a half inch drives. What a concept. Some sub notebooks and uh, even other devices will actually require you to have a 1.8 inch drive if you want to upgrade. And Kingston is not going to leave behind any part of the market that they can meet. And given that SSD technology is very easily shrunk down to smaller sizes, well, hey, why not produce a 1.8 inch drive? So let's get this guy opened up. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the whole plastic clamshell packaging, but it's not too hard to get apart. So let's see what Kingston has to say for themselves in the documentation here. It's kind of clever the way they do their manuals. You just kind of take apart the packaging and then boom, there's your getting started guide. So 1.8 inch drive. Something to be aware of is if you're upgrading a notebook, for example, that comes with a 1.8 inch drive, you might be in for a bit of a treat getting things apart. Um, they don't actually say much in here about that. They're just talking about the physical installation. Make sure you got to SATA interface and a SATA cable. Uh, make sure you configure your BIOS to boot from the SSD. All of that good stuff. This guy is about uh, staying up to date on Kingston technology news and products. Okay. And let's have a look at this SSD now. Here's something to be aware of as well. So yeah, you might be in for a bit of a challenge. First of all, interface. Okay, this is not a standard SATA desktop interface. So I want you to look at a standard desktop drive. So we're going to orient these guys the same way. These are clearly not the same. It actually is a proprietary, well not proprietary, it is a standard connector, but it's a different standard connector on a 1.8 inch drive versus a two and a half inch drive because you can clearly see that this drive just isn't wide enough to fit all that stuff on with the necessary reinforcements and structural bits that need to go along with it. So that's the reason for the different interface. Now the other thing to be aware of is that taking apart a drive or a computer or an appliance or whatever else you have that is designed to accept this kind of a drive might be a bit of a challenge because they're usually highly embedded, highly proprietary, and you're going to require probably a set of Torx screwdrivers as well as some other special stuff as well. Now just in terms of sheer size, I want to show you a three and a half inch desktop hard drive. So you hold that up to a computer. It looks pretty small, looks pretty normal. This is what a hard drive looks like. Okay, two and a half inch drives. These are basically gonna replace three and a half inch drives in the next couple years, as far as I can tell. They're about one quarter the size of a three and a half inch drive. So you take that, you put it on top. You can see that we could easily fit two side by side. You take that and put it on the side and you can see that we could easily stack two. So you actually have some adapters uh, for example, three and a half inch to two and a half inch adapters that you can mount in a case that will just take two SSDs and mount them in the sandwich form right directly on top of each other so you can fit double the density. And then I've even seen five and a quarter inch bay adapters that allow you to hot swap four two and a half inch drives in the space of one of those. So everything's getting more miniature all the time, but this just really takes the cake. This thing is just tiny compared to a two and a half inch drive. You've got about half the thickness. So here, I'm going to give you that angle so that you can see it pretty well. Uh, even less than actually, oh no, it's probably about half the thickness of a two and a half inch drive, although it's not quite the same proportion. So it's not a one to four ratio, like the two and a half to three and a half. So you can see the interface makes it just a little bit too long to actually fit four of these in the same space. But there you have it. Kingston produces a full range of SSD products, including two and a half inch, as well as 1.8 inch drives. And thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Kingston SSD Now V Plus 180. That is a 64 gig, very, very, very small. Oh, hey, here's a good comparison. Oh, hold on, pause. So just for size comparison, this is a Crazy Russian's credit card, which he thoughtfully loaned to me so that I could show you guys how big this 1.8 inch drive is compared to a credit card. So you can see it is actually smaller than a credit card. So hey, if you got an encrypted one of these, you could actually like carry it around in your wallet. Remember, this is the encrypted drive. This one's not encrypted, it's just really small. So there you have it. That is the 1.8 inch drive.